say thank you to the Anai and Kong for inviting me and also for supporting me all throughout my journey for the service babies and to Doc Happy also. I don't think uh, possible Tanan without some Nana help. So thank you so so much. And to the mayor of Saraga, to all the mayors, vice mayors, SK members, and SK members, to everyone in here, good morning and Abansi. To tell you, I was on my way here up in the plane and I asked myself what topic do I want to talk about today? But since it's Pride Month and happy Pride Month to everyone, I said let me focus on giving importance and visibility to my fellow community members, the LGBT community. Me, myself, is a proud member. And ever since I was a kid, it's always been a struggle for me on putting my soul in a place where I think I belong, especially about my gender orientation. I call myself as an androgynous. So to most of you that don't understand what it is or don't have an idea about it, it's when there's days that you wake up and you feel more of feminine, and there's days that you wake up and you feel more masculine, but it doesn't really matter because everyone wants to put us up in a box and we need to be labeled as just one when we can be anything we want. And ever since I was a kid, it was in my mind that, you know, the world wants us to whisper all the time. They want to silence us, they want us to whisper. But at an early age, I chose to scream. I chose to be my authentic self, regardless if people wouldn't like me or not. So at the end of the day, we need to understand that people doesn't need to love us. They don't need to accept us, or they don't need to like us at all. But the moment that you look at yourself in the mirror, you need to understand that you need to love the person that you see in there. So I think for me, what's really, really important in here is to love yourself, to look at yourself, and to feel confident and beautiful, regardless of what your shape and who you are. I know it is hard to be yourself. Me, myself, when I joined this universe, and a lot of parts of my life, I have been discriminated because of my gender orientation. And as much as it is hard, but I think that by staying with my core, by becoming the woman or the person that I want to be, is the only way for me to inspire these people. Makambal sila, if you're gay or if you're a lesbian, no one would accept you and would love you. And I think Lola Bassing is one of the examples for me where I think that regardless of your gender, your race, or your identity, love will conquer all. Si Lola Bassing, I remember before, every Sunday, ginapunawa ko, alas patro sa aga, magsimba. And I was a kid, so kisa ating ate pa ulo, hindi kita gusto magbuktaw. But then she'd always tell me, uh, you know, must buy now. And you know, regardless of who you are, that love, God will love you. Until right now, so una, she don't understand the type of person that I am. And then I told her that Lola, I am bisexual. And I think that's when we realize that people actually don't hate us. Sometimes they just lack of understanding or knowledge about things. And Lola Basin is one of the examples na bisan ano ka katigulang or bisan ano para. Society tells you that among them, if someone you meet later, they're different, and you love them, that you'll try to understand and you'll try to accept them. So for me, one of the greatest achievements in my life happened like actually a week ago or two weeks ago. It wasn't when I won the medal, or it wasn't only when I won the medal when I competed for the nationals, or I joined the University of Philippines and I represented Iloilo. But also when you saw that I had a shoot or a photo shoot for a magazine that is called Parsi. To some people, it was just another milestone of mine. But for me, it was such a big deal. Because here, not only that you are visible, but people will accept you for who 